right, you guys, look, I don't know what to call this series that I'm starting right here. This is something new that I'm trying to add to my channel, but I want to call it a quickie, even though I'm not sure if it's going to be a quickie or if I can even call that on YouTube a quickie because maybe quickie is not appropriate. I'm not 100% sure. But I want to give you guys some fast kind of like tutorial whatnot, basically breaking down two things. Uh, well, one thing, but with it, it becomes like a two thinger. So like you get like a topic and then I explain to you why it's important and I show you how it's done real quick. You know what I'm saying? Instead of making a full out design series or whatnot, I want to show you guys just a few little techniques that I use or whatnot to make like my mockups and my, my design stuff like that. So if there's something that you guys like, subscribe to it, go ahead and drop a like, you know what I'm saying? Comment below. So I know that you guys like it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want to just be making stuff and wasting time and all that stuff. Cause I, but I do know if there is one person that wants to hear it, that one person will be there. You know what I'm saying? If that one person that's gonna be there is you, then what's up? But I wanna make this as quick as possible, so we're gonna go into Photoshop right now. All right, so uh, I wanna talk to you guys about the displacement maps and stuff like that. Now, displacement maps are exactly what it is. It's something that you put on that maps out, basically the displacement of your graphic, all right? So when you wanna make something look real, you would have to distort it and all that stuff because that's just what it is. Like if I have a t-shirt on, it's just gonna look wrinkled. The design is gonna either look wrinkled or it's gonna stretch to my body type and stuff like that. If you just slap a, a picture on top of a, a t-shirt, it's not gonna look right, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna look like it fits. It's not gonna look like it's real. But if you put a displacement map on top of it, you know, like it works out. So over here in my Photoshop, uh, if we go into, if we go over here into this, we're not, if I bring up basically this mock-up here, now this mock-up is available for download. You guys, it's on my website. Website will be in the description box and in the comment section. But if we're over here and let's just go into the mock-up and I go into my graphics and then I drop down the graphics tab to my graphics and then I go into the graphic layer or whatnot. I know there's like three graphics that you gotta go through to see it, but that's just how I put my mock-ups together. Look, if we go over here, we see the displacement map uh, on this graphic, we see the displace. If I turn it off, you might be able to see what happened there, right? So I'm gonna zoom in again real quick so you guys can see, but I'm gonna turn it on. This is the displacement map on, and if I turn it off, you get this, right? Now, here's the thing, right? If you follow the shadows, I know it might have been hard to see, but if you follow the shadows, and this is with the displacement map off, you see that the shadows kind of just lay on top of the graphic. And that's just how I build mines, right? I like to lay the shadows on top of my graphics, and then I just put the displacement map and stuff on top of it, you know what I'm saying? I lay the, the graphic on the shirt, and then I put the, the shirt's shadows on top of it. Like, that just works out for me, you know? But if I want to make this look real, if I want the graphic to move with the actual shirt, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay a displacement map on top of it and now we get like the creases that goes along with it so this this essential shadow layer just made a crease and it boosted this side up a little bit and it boosted this side up a little bit and then it settled back in on this side just with this s with this e you know with that e right there that's just how the displacement map works you want that and it's going to make it look real so how do you get this how do you achieve this so i'm going to turn off all of this and I have the original shirt right here, okay? What you wanna do is you wanna hit this hamburger icon right here. You wanna go into smart object, convert to smart object, then you double click on it. Now, in this smart object, what you wanna do is you wanna drop the saturation down to maybe like nothing, okay? Then you wanna hit command L and you wanna just go ahead and increase the shadows and stuff like that because that's what makes the displacement map look good you know you want to make sure that that looks good so increase the shadows do something a little bit like this i usually bring up the highlights because sometimes the, the the map have to move with the highlights but you know don't even have to worry about that just increase the shadows which is just this far left little icon right here hit okay and then you go into filter blur gaussian blur and you bring it down to where you can see basically you can see the blacks, you can see the grays, and you can see the whites, but it's not as like as defined. So I like mine's around like seven on this one. On this one specifically, I like it around seven. We hit okay. We go to file, uh, save as, 
and then we want to make sure that we save this document as a photoshop document so you get on the format you pick photoshop and then you put the the actual displacement somewhere i don't know i'm putting mine on like my desktop so i'm gonna call this displacement for crew neck shirt okay hit save boom yes you want to save it now because this became a psd all you have to do is just close this down come back into your your actual document you don't have to do anything right just make a new layer real quick and turn that into a smart object now you can double click in this layer and this is where you can drop your like graphics so i'm going to my finder go into i don't know i'm always using the same template right i'm using going going to my rod man template and i'm pulling up the rod man vans because that's just one of my favorite graphics i really like this right so i'm gonna put the rod man vans here i'm gonna hit command s to save it out and then we go back into the crew neck shirt and then here's my graphic for it right so i'm gonna move it into place maybe like right here and i'll scale it in like this okay let's zoom in real quick so i can see better and then on that layer three that i created i'll go into filter distort displace now the settings really just kind of depends on you how, how much you want it to displace like if you put it on like a 20 it's going to displace 20 times but if you do it like a four you know it's going to just give you like a subtle kind of like displacement i like them both it really doesn't matter i think the most that i've used is 10 but yeah i think that's what we use on this one 10 i think the least that i used was like three because it's, it just gets too subtle for me at that point in time uh so between three and ten you can get a good nice displacement so we'll hit okay on that we'll go into the desktop find that displacement and then hit open and there you go look so it's kind of wrinkly and all that stuff as you can see if i turn off the displace you get this but if i turn it on it looks a little bit like that that's perfectly fine if you want to fix that though all you have to do is bring up your regular shirt layer pull that to the top uh drop that what is it the blend options down to multiply and it starts to look a little bit more realistic you can hit command j um and then bring in like a soft light um and then just put both of these make sure that you clip them both to the actual graphic so you select them both by hitting shift by holding shift and clicking on both layer two copies and then you right click then you create a clipping mask right there and that's pretty much it right now the soft light is what's making this look kind of funky or whatnot but if you bring down the soft light to let's just say 50 on the opacity put it on 50 on the opacity and then put the fill layer on like 75 you get something a little bit more realistic and there you go that's basically it now i can still manipulate the, the displacement i can say all right 10 is too much i can go five just to make it a little bit more subtle and we can bring back in that displacement map and boom like it works out you know it looks just a little bit more subtle and that's just a preference for you guys let's just say you don't like how this foot looks well you can just do that real quick and you know we can continue to do other things too like i could change the color but that's not going to be in this video today you guys so that's basically it that's how you make a mock-up with just any graphic on a t-shirt just to make that ish look real you know what i'm saying so if you like this one go ahead and smash the like button go ahead and comment below what else what other techniques you want me to do to show you guys you know how to make a good little mock-up and then you guys want this mock-up right here it comes in a pack it's part of one of my packs that i've created and in this pack it has like nine different mock-ups that you guys can use they all have patches on it well five of them have patches on it one of them is a t-shirt and you got two shoes to go along with it and then i gave you the actual mock-up patch so you guys can use it and it just looks real you know what i'm saying it's something that i created it's my baby and if you guys want it you can have it too but with that being said you guys have to split so stay amazing stay creative above all else stay awesome